Hello and welcome to my review of the absolutely huge LEGO Ideas 21323 Grand Piano. This is very big. This is very, very big. Um, yeah. And it works. It's playable to a certain extent, which I'll be showing you in this review. Now, this review might not be as smooth as some of my other reviews because this is massive. It barely fits in my filming location. So, you're going to have to bear with me a bit. But... Let's get straight into the smaller thing, the seat. Here is the seat, which is adjustable. Make it go down and up. It does take quite a few rotations, and these are not the easiest to ever rotate. And it's slightly confusing because on one end, clockwise puts it down, on the other end, clockwise puts it up. So, yeah, but it does look really good. And... It's the last thing you build, and you can actually see the mechanism in there. It uses a worm gear to then lift. Pretty simple, but works well, and it complements the piano very well. And just before I forget, also included is this printed music sheet for Play Day by Donny Chen, who is the uh, fan designer of this set. So that's very nice that he got his own music put in as a Massive. Massive. That's a... Six by six? I think so. Uh, no. That's a... Yeah, no, that is a six by six. Six by six. <laughs> no. I think we should move this on. Yes, it is a six by six. It's a six by six. Okay, let's move on quick. Right, here we go. We're going to look at the piano now. And... Just before we start, two things I would like to say. Number one, I am not a pianist, and I'm not 100% sure and convinced, I guess you could say, on how pianos work. So I might refer to some parts of the piano as the wrong thing and use the wrong terminology, but you're just going to bear with me. The other thing is, at some points, I will have to take my camera off a tripod that I usually film on and hold it in my hand, which might mean the camera's a bit shaky, but you'll just have to bear with that. Now, the first thing I want to do is just show you how big this is. I relatively recently viewed the Lego Creator Expert London Bass, and that's big. But it doesn't look so big next to the piano. <laughs> the piano dwarfs it. The piano is absolutely massive. I don't actually have a minifigure, unfortunately. But, yeah, you just need to believe me that it is big. Actually, at the end I'll have a minifigure to show you. But... I'm going to show you how it all opens up at the moment, because it's closed up, and it was opened up when I started. So the first thing you do is you lift the lid up, and you get out your stand, and that goes in that hole there. So, you see that? it goes in a little hole there. So, put you up a bit more. So, there we go. And now you fold this bit around with the hinges and then you can put your music stand up that's on a little ratchet so that works quite nicely then you've got your keyboard cover which opens up that reveals the keys and now to work it it has a motor in it and a battery box the battery box is accessed by opening this door on the side here like that you can see in there there's the battery box it's the button Press that, and then it'll start to um, try to connect. I will connect it to my phone soon and I can show you exactly how that works. It's very smooth on the outside, using a lot of black tiles and black bricks. I will now get you down lower so I can show you the legs and some other parts from down lower. Right, now we're down lower. And the first thing I want to show you is that printed 2x2 two two inverted tile there with the Lego logo. It's very nice, that's one of two prints. The other one you already saw is the music sheet. Now, the, the legs and wheels here, the wheels are... I'll show you this one because you can actually see that one. The wheels are just little um, Technic wheels. They're very, very small. And they're just used as casters here and they work very well for it. Um, this will not run on any kind of carpeting really at all. You shouldn't run up carpeting, you'll just snap the legs off. They're just held on by four tenant 
pins. And then this is the foot pedals. These two don't do anything. But the third one here does. You can probably hear something happening. I can show you just what that is. Pedal does. It moves these pieces here, which this is where I'm not 100% sure. But will that tighten, tighten the wires to give you a... Better um, note, I, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not going to delve too deep into that. But I can show you the ratchet on the music stand here. It just uses one of those angled uh, grill pieces, or grid, grid and grill pieces. They used it quite a lot in the city line. And then this just sits and points there. And this folds, you have to flop, flop these back over and then it can fold flat. Then you have to flop them back over again. So it's a bit of a fiddle, but it's not too bad. Um, so I think I should probably show you what this thing looks like playing though. Um, I just would like to say though, that these tubes here may come bent. They came pretty bent for me. They were stuck underneath one of the big bags in the box. But I managed to flatten them with a very heavy book. So, I flatten them. And actually I might as well show you down here. Just now, you can see down there past there, these are the little hammers, I think they're called. It's 15 of them. And they are pushed up by the keys. So that's me pressing the keys on the front. And that pushes them up, which doesn't it doesn't really do anything. It's just for looks, but it does look very good. And then, to be honest, that's pretty much it. So let's let's connect my phone and have a look at this plane. Now I'm going to show you how the app works. Um, I don't actually have screen recording on this phone without updating, and that would take a while. So you're just going to have to bear with me doing it this way. So, um, well, basically when you come into the Powered Up app, it's the Lego Powered Up app, you get an option of all the sets here that have used it since 2018. So it's some city sets, Disney set, Haunted House. But we're going to click on this um, idea set. And then you've got two options, play or listen. We're going to go for listen at the moment. Then you press on that. It takes a while. But then you can, you have a whole list of songs to choose from. There's 20. Total, you can press that. You get all of them. Is it all of them? No, it's 20. So this is the one by um, the builder of the set. So then you just press play. And then you can probably hear the piano in the background doing it. And I'll show you that in just a sec. But if you don't want to play, you can also... No, if you don't want to listen, sorry, you can also play. And you can pick your song again. There's the piano firing up. Uh, let's pick the first one. And then this works slightly differently. And I'll have to show you that with the piano, which I'm going to do right now. Before we do some playing, let's listen for a sec. Now, you're not actually going to be able to hear the audio just because like, it's too complicated in editing. And, you know. So if you want to hear this song, you'll need to, I don't know, Google it. I think Lego have got a few videos up on it. But you press play. There you go, it fires up, and that's just the motor running the, um, the camshaft inside it, basically. And that just... <laughs> it just presses certain keys down. You'll notice some keys don't actually move. This one. And this one. But, um, all the others do, I believe. Oh no, hang on. This one doesn't. But, yeah. So... That's the listening, which is pretty cool, but the playing is also pretty cool, so let's do that. So here we go, now we're on play mode, and what's happening here is, whenever you press a key, it moves on one note. Now you can't hear that, but if I zoom in onto my phone, watch up in the top corner. Do you see it? A little note jumps. So every time you press a key on the keyboard, regardless of what key it is, it jumps one note and the phone plays that note. So that's the way that, that works. So you could actually, you can just play it by pressing one key, but that's not a proper way to do it. If you want to do it properly, you press the correct keys. So that's the way it works. It works really cleverly. The motor is, uh, I believe the motor is constantly under, actually no, I'm not even going to try and explain it. 
it baffled me. I was trying to work it out and it, oof, it gets complicated quick, but it works, that's for sure. And it's very cool. It, it really never gets old, especially the listen feature with it playing, because that is just, it's just amazing. And it's a lot better with sound, but yeah, sorry about not being able to get you sound. But yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really good. So, um, yeah, let's go on to the spares. All the spare parts. Now, obviously, I got two of these tubes. I believe you're supposed to, but I'm not 100% sure. So if anyone does get this set, let me know if you did actually get, you know, tubes as spares. I think you're supposed to, but I'm not 100% sure. I haven't left them out, that's for sure. Um, you get a lot of these black pins, because every bag you get a spare for something that's counted as a one-by-one one item. So... Yeah, nothing too interesting. There's no prints or really any very exclusive parts. I guess that could be considered somewhat exclusive. That's a one by one stud that's painted silver. So here we are at the end. This has probably been the hardest review I've ever done. Um, but this is one of the best sets, to be honest, I think. It's amazing. It is expensive, but it's very good. I would say... If you even remotely like music, or even remotely like pianos, you will really like this. It's great. It's it's not novelty at all. It doesn't really wear off. It's a massive box. <laughs> but, yeah, there's your dimensions there. In case you can't see them up, up on screen just now. And, yeah. Also included in the box, like most... Uh, big sets. It has like an inside box, but this one is more special than the rest because this one has a print of the piano keys on it. So that's nice. Uh, but yes, thank you very much for watching this review. And if you're watching this on the day of release, it'll be Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas. Hope you have a nice day. And if you're watching this next May, um, just ignore that. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.